Good morning. My name is David Fraser. You're watching Safari Live. This is actually my interview drive, so I'm very, very excited to be here up in the Kruger. I'm not from this area, so I may actually call on you guys to give me some help on this uh, morning safari. Um, the sun hasn't quite risen yet, so it's still nice and dark. It's actually not that cold this morning. Yesterday was quite chilly. Today it's quite uh, nice and warm. Of course, you're welcome to send through your questions, hashtag Safari Live, and uh, you can give me a grilling. <laughs> I'm going to start driving now. We've seen some tracks. We just saw some uh, hyena tracks um, leading away, so we're going to follow them and see what we can find. Let's go. One more very important fact on this vehicle is that my cameraman's name is Dave too. Yes. <laughs> Bring it in Dave. Peace and love. Dave squared. Double D. There you go. <laughs> All right, I'm going to slow down so we can keep an eye on the road at the same time as we're moving along. I seem to have already lost the hyena tracks. Um, Animals obviously love to use the road. It's a lot easier than walking through the bush and a lot safer, less chance of stepping on a snake. Uh, but they don't always stick to the roads and sometimes will we'll cut through the bush, uh, which makes tracking a little bit more difficult. And may, I may even have to get off the vehicle just now. But we're gonna keep going. Um, I actually don't even know where we're going. Dave is my guide. Um, he's my sat nav. And we're going to uh, see if we can find a nice water hole with something that I can show you. Mm. Right, James, you've asked what is my favorite animal? <sighs> well, let me switch off for that one. <laughs> That's quite a big question. Well, I'm gonna actually have to go with two animals. One would be the black mamba. Okay, it's fast, it's dangerous, it's the, the largest uh, venomous snake in South Africa or even Africa. And apart from that, I'd have to say the black rhino, a bejan. Again, fast, dangerous, unpredictable. Um, and there's something special about that because you don't become complacent with them. When you find a black rhino, every time it is special, every time I, my heart starts to race and I get excited. Uh, and of course, it's a highly endangered uh, you know, and very rare animal. And so I think a black rhino is uh, something that um, I have not gotten over. Um, every time you find a black rhino, uh, for me, it's, it's a special moment. <laughs> Hope that answers your question, James. All right, we're going to be switching back to James. Apparently, he has got an amazing bird to show you. <laughs> Did I jump out? All right, welcome back. Um, we've just found some fresh Ellie dung um, with urine as well. So, and we've seen some very fresh uh, footprints as well. Um, so we're going to keep following them, and maybe we can catch up with this elephant herd. Now, I've heard really good things about you guys. Um, Safari live viewers, apparently you really know what you're talking about. So I'm going to have to uh, pay attention this morning. Um, and of course, I'm going to use that to my advantage and I'm definitely going to be throwing some questions at you um, when I get a little stuck. I'm not familiar with this area. I'm actually from Cape Town and I've spent the last couple of years working at private reserves in the Eastern Cape. Okay, so that's a little bit different uh, to the Kruger, where we are now. And you know, just now James asked me a question about my favorite animal. And I'm gonna have to say one more thing. Um, in the Eastern Cape, where I work, I get to see black rhinos almost every day. So that's a massive privilege. But I'm dying to see a leopard. This area up here is world famous for leopards. And that is something that, um, that'll get my heart racing this morning. I'm hoping for a leopard. So uh, yeah, let's get out there. Haven't seen any tracks yet. Um, we're definitely gonna be, uh, so we've got these um, elephant tracks. We're gonna be following that. But I think uh, for me, number one, the leopard. Let's go. The sun has not risen yet. And 
Dan asked me how long I've been guiding. Well, actually a, a really long time. Um, I'm older than I look, for starters. And I've actually worked in different fields. Um, actually starting with falconry. I studied falconry. And believe it or not, I actually did guiding as a falconer as well. We worked at a falconry center and I had to guide people around and explain uh, the rehabilitation process as well as doing shows, which is a form of guiding. Um, then I also spent a few years in a zoo where we did tours as well and a bit of time in Botswana at a snake park. But then I went into field guiding. And I would say now I'm on about almost seven years of uh, bush experience, um, doing um, actual safaris. Let me just pay attention while we go over these ruts. And so, yeah, I've got a few years um, ranging experience. But uh, to be honest with you, I'm definitely a newbie to this area, and that makes it very exciting. I've spent, uh, the, as I say, the last uh, about six years in the Eastern Cape of South Africa, and that is a different biome to what we have here. And that means that everything is fresh for me. Um, the birds, the plants, the, the trees, everything is fresh and really exciting. Um, I'm, I've, already, I've only been here two days and already I've seen loads of bird species that I've actually never even seen in my life. So I'm in my element right now. Right, we're gonna go left here. Ravi wants to know which animal made me choose my career. Well, to be honest with you, I have been obsessed um, with the natural world ever since I was a baby. I caught my first snake, uh, my first puff adder when I was five years old, and I've never stopped since. I've just been totally in love with it. And the more you learn, the more you want to learn more. Um, I was fortunate enough to be taken on safari as a child and if you had met me when I was just a little kid I would have told you I want to be a ranger. I even had a game ranger birthday party. So this is something that I've wanted to do my whole life and uh, I've actually always wanted to come up to the Kruger and this is obviously one of the most beautiful parts of the Kruger and I could not uh, even imagine a better way to do this. Um, I think Safari Live offers something totally new. Um, you know, it, for me it's totally new. Um, I'm used to dealing with guests. Um, with a live audience, um, over a camera like this, it, yeah, it make, it's making things quite interesting, I must say. So far I'm enjoying it. I hope you guys are too. <laughs> Alright, we're going to switch over to Taylor now. Welcome back. I found something interesting to, to look at. A big, beautiful marula tree. And what I find interesting about it uh, that I've just noticed now is this line right here of mud. Okay, and that is just at the right height for an elephant belly. So I would say that an elephant came along here and used this marula tree as a scratching post. Right, the sun is just, just popping out. David, I don't know if you want to get that. It is our source of energy. It's rising. Birds are calling. You can hear a Cape turtle dove serenading the morning. Right, um, we actually just saw some fresh hyena tracks. And Dave is guiding me towards their den. So I'm going to jump back in. We're going to head towards the hyena den and see if we get lucky. Hopefully um, they're still around. Maybe um, we might even get to see one. 